the strangest sights on the island. Bricks from the four corners of the world. What two nickels, one dime, a tenth part of a dollar. We've got the show if you've got the dime. My name's Fred Call. I'm an artist from Brooklyn, New York, and we're sitting here in the Coney Island Circus Sideshow in Coney Island, New York. Coney Island, the world's greatest fun frolic, with its beach miles long, all peppered with people. The place where merriment is king. I had always been interested in magic and illusions and kind of was doing visual art related to that and kind of uh, started performing magic in Coney Island. Through that got into sword swallowing and the human blockhead and kind of became this persona, the great Ferdini. And Coney Island has always been a kind of special place where technology and art kind of melded together in this crazy, you know, beach culture where you know, Thomas Edison first unveiled the electric light. The hot dog was invented there. But Coney Island's greatest eating invention is the Frankfurter. For it was here, when the place was a sandbar known as Koenig Hook, that the hot dog was born. Zowie, it's Coney Island caviar. One of my fascinations was Luna Park, which was created by this sort of mad scientist uh, architect, Frederick Thompson, and he had designed all these buildings like this Luna Park Tower here. Really, he was the first postmodern architect. He took, you know, Renaissance structures, like a lot of this tower is modeled after the towers in San Marco, and Frederick Thompson was interesting because he was an, a student at the Beaux-Arts Academy in Paris, and he was kicked out because he was just too wacky, and so he sort of dropped out of school. He came back to America and got involved with the World Fair and the World Columbian Exposition in Chicago, and then the later Buffalo Exposition. Him and his partner, Skip Dundee, started a, a ride at the World's Fair called the Trip to the Moon, where they simulated a voyage to the moon. And you would go in and you'd feel like you were actually traveling to the moon, and then you got off this spaceship and you were greeted by little Martians and they had, the walls were made of green cheese so you could pick a piece of cheese off the wall and, and eat it. <laughs> when they came to Coney Island, they bought an old amusement park which became Luna Park and they transformed it into this magical environment. And the thing that was so special about Luna Park aside from the architecture was that all the buildings were encrusted with light bulbs. And I had this idea for years, I'm gonna build this with popsicle sticks or toothpicks or something, and that would be my retirement project, is to, to rebuild Luna Park in some form or fashion. So when 3D printing started happening, I realized like, here's my opportunity. I can actually you know, use this technology to do this. So then my other, interest was if I'm rebuilding Luna Park, how do we create models of people to populate it? One of the things that really changed was when Reconstruct Me came out because they allowed you to use an Xbox controller, $100 piece of hardware, and this actually can, with Reconstruct Me software, can produce a scan better than a $20,000 piece of equipment would. So it was a really major innovation. And I then created this turntable that allows you to do full body scans. So this is an example of a full body scan. This is a portrait of my self portrait. Um, and you can see we're able to get this great quality with these. There would be an, a lot of efforts. People have been doing these sort of armchair spins of getting torsos. And I found that really frustrating. I just wanted to see like the full body. So that was what my big focus, and I built the turntable, and now I have the scanning rig where the, uh, this rides on a track, and we're really able to get these great scans. My vision is this, to create a miniature model of Coney Island's Luna Park as it stood 100 years ago, and I want you to be a part of it. For the summer of 2014, I will create a scale model of 1914 Luna Park to be exhibited in Coney Island. 
I want to populate the model with the portraits of the melting pot of people that visit Coney Island, and that includes you. Thank <music> you.